Okay, today we're going to have a look at creating a walkthrough and how we might be able to actually adjust the height of the walkthrough as we go through so we can come up those stairs, around those stairs and up to the upper level and we'll have a look at some of the uh, settings behind it as well. So we're going to get started from the view tab we'll go to the uh, walkthrough tool and we've got the offset here, I like to set it at 1500, it's about eye height and that's 1500 from this level okay so I'll just start walking along here and then I'll change it to be level 1 as we hop up to there and you know I'm going to say we're going to roughly go up an extra 250 there so I'll just go 1750 up to here and I'll just do another 250 there so I'll go up to 2000 it's just uh, basically I'm just putting this extra spot in here to stop it from flipping around too much and uh, we'll go up to level 2 I'll just adjust my height again and I just happen to know that uh, that's the way it works upstairs alright so basically once I've done that I'll finish my walkthrough I now may want to edit my walkthrough and we can just come back here and look we may want to uh, as we're going up the stairs we may want to actually look around so I can just move the camera around a little bit like that and we can do that many ways that, uh, that we're going up the stairs this one here we might be you know, looking around there a bit as we go up so once I've done that I can open the walkthrough and we just want to go all the way back to the beginning of the walkthrough and we can hit the play button on that Okay, now if we wanted to increase the amount of um, frames, we can click on this button here and we can bunch it up to 1200 frames. We can increase our frames per second, etc. And if I was to play that, you'll see it's essentially now going a lot slower because we've got a lot more frames to get through. If I want to cancel, I can just click on this and that'll cancel the operation. Okay. So if I then wanted to uh, export, we'll find our walkthroughs in the project browser. There it is there. We can double click on it to open it. So if I ever want to uh, export that, we can come to the export. images and animations okay I think I need to actually have that selected like this so we can see the uh, crop region is highlighted walk through and then in here we can have a look at our output options okay so we'll output the all frames we might go to 25 frames per second and you can see that's going to give us a one minute twenty video 
that's the dimensions I can go to the uh, realistic style I have the option to include a date and time stamp if we're doing sun studies those sort of things okay, I'll be asked to save the walkthrough as an AVI Then we come to uh, this option here, and this is where we can have some various codecs uh, installed that will help with the uh, video compression, if you like. Um, so TechSmith uh, is not a free one, so I should be using this uh, this one here, the screen capture codec. 